guys! So today I'm going to be doing a back to school makeup tutorial, but before I start, I would just like to remind you all to please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. I post outfits of the week, and I'll post this one that I'm wearing on Friday. I also post tips and tricks and product picks and inspirational quotes. And if you guys have any recommend rec recom recommendation on what to post, then just please comment. I'm open to new ideas and things like that. Okay, so I'm going to start. I've already done half my face and I primed both my eyes. And this is a slightly different um, back to school makeup tutorial because it's kind of pink. Pink, purple. Yeah. And it's really easy. It doesn't take a lot of time. I'm going to be using this and it's from Maybelline, New York. And it's just a palette with pink and a and it says, like, on the top, well, I've already used it, so it doesn't say anymore, but it used to say lid, crease, and brow bone. So, it also shows you on the back. So, if you're, s or if you're new to makeup and you don't really know how to use it, don't even have brushes, they already give you, like, a little brush. I took it out because I don't use them. But, yeah, it's really easy to use. So, just put this all, all over the lid, this on the crease, and this on the brow bone. So, I'll show you right now. Um... I'll be using my Eco Tool fluffy brush to put the pink all over my lid. And for foundation, I didn't use foundation. I put a little bit of concealer where I need it, and I put the Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Powder, which I did a review on just a few days ago. So you guys can check it out if you guys want. Okay, so just put that all over matter. Now, I'm going to take this brush, and it's from Spa Resource, and it actually says right here what it should be for, and it's Crease Blender, and it's just like this. It's really good. So, I'm going to put the crease on. Just blend it in, and if it's too harsh, it's okay, because we can just add some more pink and dilute it, but I think this is fine. I like how this looks. So I'll just put a little bit more pink. Now I'm going to take this color right here, brow bone, and I'm using the same brush, it doesn't really matter. And I'll just put it under my brow and in the corner of my eye. Also a little bit over here, just to add some shine. Blend it. I'm going to take this brush, the same brush that I used to crease, blend, blend a crease, and I'll take it down underneath and just put it all over. I'm not using another brush just because I want to keep this simple and easy and darken that corner. Okay. So that's it for the eye. I'm just gonna curl my lashes. Put my voluminous mascara on. And just wiggle it from root to tip. Get it all over. Don't get any clumps like that or anything like that. Okay, and if you got made a mistake, just clean it up. Doesn't really matter. Do it underneath as well. I don't know what's wrong with me today, but I'll fix that after. Don't worry. Now, I will use this Stila blush, and it's sort of pinkish, peachish. It's not really pink, it's not really peach, it's kind of a blend. And it's a cream blush, which I love, because it just gives you a natural tone to your face. And this brush is just a blush brush. It's also by Spa Resource. It does have a bit of fallout, which is kind of weird. 
I, I washed it and stuff, but it still has it. So just put it on the apples of your cheeks or wherever you like it. It doesn't really matter. It just adds a bit of glow, I guess. And to end it all, I'm just going to apply my Annabelle gloss, and it's a pink gloss. Well, it doesn't really look pink. It just enhances your natural color. Cause, I mean, it is for school. You don't really want to put, like, a fuchsia color on or something like that especially with the eye makeup. So yeah, this is the finished look. It was really easy. I hope you guys use it for when you go back to school. And I will see you next time. Bye!